Hello everyone, I'm coming at you guys today with my review of Basketball Trolls. Now, I wanted to do this review like yesterday, but believe it or not, I suffered 14 hours, y'all. And then throughout the day, I was taking naps here and there, so y'all, you would think I would have been well rested, but I wasn't. So I woke up this morning, and then I went back to sleep, so I got up, and then I'm still up, so... Let's just go ahead and get into the season finale review. It wasn't really much going on if you guys didn't watch. And I know a lot of my subscribers don't even watch it anymore. Y'all just watch the review. Y'all didn't miss anything. I mean, it was just a repeat of what's been going on during every episode of this season. That's that's pretty much it. So basically, I mean, Pam Shawnee went into Jennifer's room and she told Jennifer that she shouldn't be on Twitter tweeting stuff about Evelyn. She shouldn't be on blogs and she shouldn't do interviews and all that type of stuff because she's just making the, the situation worse. And I felt that Pimp Shawnee was just putting the blame and all the fault on Jennifer. Now, we all can recall that Evelyn has talked about Eric like a dog to Jennifer's face, behind Jennifer's back. I mean, Pimp, you couldn't talk to your other troll about that either. So, anyways, she's telling Jennifer that she needs to talk to Evelyn. But, you know, every time Jennifer talks to Evelyn, you know how it always ends up. So, Jennifer is like, she's over it. She don't have the desire to talk to this person because, I mean, it, the communication, the conversation never go anywhere. So, she's over it. And I don't blame Jennifer because I feel like this, and this is just me as a person. I can just block a person out of my life in 0, 0.00 seconds without any notice. That's just how I am, and I have no regrets for the things that I do. So, I really don't blame Jennifer for when she said that she don't want to talk to Evelyn because I mean Evelyn is a grown ass woman and if she really wanted to talk to her so called friend she shouldn't put all her friend's business out there like that she shouldn't be acting the way she's acting or having some old mangy looking troll slap this girl in the face you know brutally slap Jennifer in the face so anyway so Pimp was like, well, I think you guys need to talk and mend things up and all this type of stuff because I don't want it to get any worse than what it already is. And Jennifer was like, when she do come around to wanting to talk to Evelyn, she preferred to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. So meanwhile, while Jennifer and Pimp are having their discussion, uh, Evelyn is outside crying, talking about she really, really need to talk to Jennifer. She really wanted to talk to her. And then Tammy, she grabbed and she hugged Evelyn. And I really don't understand. There's not one forgiving bone in my body that will allow me to be friends with someone that slept with my husband. I'm sorry. There's just no way in the world. Because I was like, Tammy, that is probably the same way your husband used to hug and hold Evelyn. So I really don't understand how you could be friends with this person. So... Anyways, Pimp came out there and she basically told the trolls what Jennifer said. And um, later on within the episode, they were all sitting on the beach on beach chairs and stuff like that. And Jennifer came out and sat down in this beach chair that was strategically placed next to Evelyn. So Jennifer turned towards Evelyn and she was like, you know, I heard you wanted to talk, so let's talk. And Evelyn just immediately had an attitude, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but what was the purpose or the point of this conversation? Because there was none, clearly, at least in my opinion. All I heard was Evelyn saying that Jennifer slept with some guy with no protection and Susie walked Jennifer to the guy's room. Now, I don't know if Evelyn got a cut out of this whole ordeal i don't know if jennifer sold a piece of ass but evelyn seemed as if she was in the room hiding under the bed the mattress maybe sitting at the foot of the bed and watching the whole thing i really don't know what went down but i mean it was some pimp type activity going down so during all the midst of this tammy the wino okay she decides that she want to put her one and a half cents into this whole deal 
So I'm like, okay, why are you talking? Nobody asked you a question, Tammy. But anyway, she was like, she's good friends with Jamie down at Sister Sister Magazine. She had a transcript of an interview that Jennifer did with Jamie. Talking about the um the whole incident when Naya brutally slapped Je uh, Jennifer in the face. And she was like, you did an interview. And so Jennifer was like, I didn't do an interview. It was a uh, conversation. Jennifer, let me go ahead and bust your bubble real quick. Anytime you're having a conversation with someone that owns a magazine, it is not considered as a conversation. This is what you call an interview. Okay, just FYI on that one. But anyway, so so what if she did did an interview? I mean, I really don't understand what's what's up with these trolls. But let me just give y'all a visual in case you did not see the season finale. Let me tell you what Tammy looked like, okay? Tammy, in the beginning of the scene, she was laying on her beach chair and a bird straight shitted on her forehead, okay? Most people... They will get up, they will wash their face. But no, not this wino. This wino took her middle finger and she kind of smudged it up into her hairline. She looked at her finger and she took a napkin and she wiped it off. That was it. She didn't wash her hands. She didn't wash her face. She did none of the above. She just nasty. Okay, she had on this gray jumpsuit on, okay? Now, at some point, I promise you, she had to get up, and she pulled up her pant leg, and she sat down, bust her legs wide open, face sweaty. She's drinking on a frozen alcoholic beverage, looking like a wino, sitting on a blue milk crate in front of a corner store in your local hood, okay? She looked a mess, okay? So, I'm like, okay, while Tammy is talking, she's kind of going in on Jennifer at the same time, talking about she feel offended because Jennifer standing in her room the entire time i'm like tammy girl please go sit back go drink a beer natural light bush whatever you wine those like to drink after you guys have a hangover you need to go ahead and do that sip on some white port night train wild turkey or something out of a brown paper bag that's what you need to do but anyways, that was pretty much it on that scene after Evelyn dismissed Jennifer. So Jennifer walked back to her room, and as she's in her room, here comes Queen Chicken of the Sea herself, Miss Kenya. She walked out there with that promiscuous Remy hair with a claw attached to it in the back. She had on this white blouse this white long sleeve shirt i think the shirt the sleeves were rolled up to her elbow she had on this two-piece black bikini suit was not wet at all i don't think she'd been in nobody's pool and she knocked on jennifer's door to see what was up or whatever and i'm seriously sitting up here and i was like jennifer i know you smell anchovies fish heads squid seahorses i know you smell something of the sea i mean this troll literally look when i tell you she looked like she smelled like a condemned ocean kenya looked like chicken of the sea her damn self all she was missing was a metal can that's it but anyways, Jennifer decided that she wanted to leave Tahiti and go back to Miami. And Kenya decided that she wanted to accompany her for the, the trip back. So as they're leaving, thumb sucking Susie, she's in the pool. She decides that she wants to disguise herself. Trailer park, side part and all. Hair slicked to the back because she was in the pool. She had on some shade. So she lowered her body into the water like a crocodile. And when I tell you she looked like the guy called Lizard, you know how she looked. And she went back and told the other trolls that, yeah, Jennifer and Kenya left. So you know Pimp, she was pissed by that, but she hid her frustration behind a laugh, a fake smile. Because you know her commission check is not going to be as big because three people in total left before the end of the vacation. So they're all sitting at this table and Evelyn gave everybody pink bags and stuff like that with a personalized notes. And inside the bag was a palette from her makeup line, okay? When I tell you on Twitter, it went down. Now, if you're not following me on Twitter, my Twitter information alone, my Facebook information is down below in the description box. 
when I tell you it went down on Twitter, people were saying things like those those makeup palettes were knockoff versions of Coastal Scents and BH Cosmetics. When I tell you I laughed so hard, when I tell you I think the whole purpose of Evelyn giving these palettes to her so-called friends, it's because she wants them to do a review on it. So basically, so you know she threw shade on um, Jennifer's makeup line, Lucid. And um, she gave them all personalized notes. And I know when she got a tan, but she went through a whole legal path because she kept fucking up. I bet every time she tried to start off the letter, she just started off with saying, Dear Tammy, bitch, I fucked your man for six months. Now, there you have it. Enjoy the palettes. Let me know how you like them. So, they all got their palettes. Some point, they got back to Miami. Tammy and Royce met up, and Royce told Tammy that she met up with um, Keisha, and Keisha told Royce what happened in Tahiti. You know, the whole bullying episode, okay? So, Royce asked Tammy, is it true that she took Keisha's purse? And Tammy admit that she did take her purse, but she said the reason why she took the purse is because Keisha abandoned her purse. We all know that was all kinds of lies and confusions, okay? There's no way you can justify what Jennifer, I mean, Tammy did was right, okay? Friend or no friend, you got to call people out when they do some, some foul shit like that. So, that's what Royce did. She was like, you wrong. You are so wrong for taking that girl's stuff. So at the end of the day, when Tammy went back to the rest of the trolls for their four-man last meal, she was like, fuck Roy. So they all were talking about, you know, their future and all this type of stuff. Evelyn talking about she don't want no children and all this type of stuff. So blah, blah, blah on that. And then back in L.A., Pimp Shawnee went back to see her kids and had a meal with them. And then she went to her pastor for what it seemed like a fake scene. Like, I mean, the last two, three minutes of the episode, she decides she want to go ahead and put that in there. I guess she told the editing department at VH1, look, you got to put this in here because I don't want people to think I am a ghetto hot mess. So she told her pastor, Bishop Kenneth Almer at Faithful Central Bible Church in Inglewood, California. She's sitting in this man's office being a false prophet. Telling him that she's surrounded by a bunch of grown women that are beefing every five minutes regarding some you said, I said mess. And she's afraid that when she goes into business meetings, people are automatically assuming that she's a ghetto hot mess. And she don't know what she should do. She's been thinking about walking away from the situation and loving them from a distance. And I'm like, wow, pimp, are you serious? So I'm glad that she took off that mangy chicken of the sea smelling wig. But Pimp Shawnee, this little segment is just for you. And I hope you, you stumble up on this video. Pimp, did you tell your pastor that you're using a retarded woman, a.k.a. thumb sucking Susie, so that she can get information from people and you're going to bring it back to you? Did you tell your pastor that? Did you tell your pastor that you played as an official, you officiated a wrongdoing event on someone that did nothing to you whatsoever in your life, your previous life at all? Did you tell your pastor that you stood there and you watched Evelyn and that retarded troll Susie place squid, anchovies, fish heads, octopus and all that type of stuff in this girl room? Did you tell your pastor that? Did you tell your pastor that you stood by and did nothing as this wino troll Tammy go through this girl Keisha's purse, take her purse and hold it hostage? Did you, tell, did you tell your pastor that? Did you tell your pastor that you're using these women, that you're actually pimping these women on this show so that you can collect your royalties and you give him a cut of the money on Sunday? Did you tell your pastor that you're giving him dirty money? Did you tell your pastor that? Did you tell your pastor that every time some mess go down, you're always there and you do nothing about it? Example, when Jennifer was brutally slapped by someone that is not a part of your so-called circle, did you tell your pastor that? No, you didn't because you are a false prophet. Now, if you were such a holy woman, what you should have done was got some holy water and a prayer cloth. And rebuke those demons from those trolls that you you pimp. 
before you guys went to Tahiti. You have a wino troll, that being Tammy. You got a loose demon, that being um, Evelyn. You got a, a old thumb sucking messy demon, that being Susie. Like for real, pimp. For real. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, But get this. Jennifer signed on for season five of Basketball Trolls. Yes, it is true. It was confirmed by her publicist on yesterday. I really don't understand that there's not enough money in the world for me to sit up there and get brutally slapped by somebody. Brutally, verbally assaulted by a loose woman. There's no way in the world. You guys share your thoughts on that one. Also, um, Evelyn, all of a sudden, she's saying that she missed um, Jennifer and she broke the friend code and all that type of stuff. And she feel like she should have handled things differently and all that type of stuff, blah, blah, blah. I just hope Jennifer don't fall for it because that's how people are, you know, when they abuse somebody. Five minutes later, they turn around and say, oh, I miss you. I wish I, you know, she just wants somebody that she can control. So I really, nah, I would step away from that troll. Um, and then Tammy, she was on Wendy Williams earlier this week. I thought Wendy was going to go in on Tammy, but she didn't. So that let me down. So, um, basically Tammy, she just talked about the fact that her daughters were embarrassed by what she did in Tahiti, you know, the whole bullying episode. So I was embarrassed for her. I mean, I don't even know you and you act like a complete fool on national TV. Like I said in a previous review, woman, you are damn near qualified for Medicare. So basically that was it. I know I was supposed to do a blog TV on this previous episode, but y'all know my situation. I will update you guys on a video shortly today. And, um, but at some point we do need to do a blog TV just because, so I'll let you guys know when we do that. But until my next review, guys, update video and perhaps a makeup tutorial. Bye.